witness, the witness. This is Innuendo Bingo. So pleased to say that we have Garrett Thomas, MBE, cycling legend, on the show today playing Innuendo Bingo. So the idea is you put water in your mouth, some innuendos will play from various TV and radio shows. Obviously, if the innuendo is funny enough, the two people playing will spit the water out. So it's Garrett against Chris. We're going over to the live lounge now for this special on bikes edition. Hi, guys. Hello, Scott. Hey. Hello. Okay, so if you're watching this now, you'll be able to see them. Uh, <laughs> it looks really good. <laughs> I, thought, I thought I was getting a proper bike. This is a joke. Right. Um, what I didn't say was that obviously G's bought his own bike in. Uh, do you want to describe your bike for us, Chris? Uh, well, G's here in his full sort of, um, you know, Team Sky get up. I'm here on what is the nearest thing to a tricycle. It's got stabilizers, but it has got a bell. That's right. So I thought we'd. Um, I mean, it's but you're you're quite low down there as well, aren't you? Am I? Yeah, compared to G. Yeah. So yeah. this is good though because in the tactics of the game, G, you can just absolutely soak him because you're above him. I've got height advantage. You've yeah. got mm. total height advantage. He's played it once before with his mother-in-law in Thailand, but today he's playing <laughs> the actual thing. It's in you under bingo with Garen Thomas. Are you ready, boys? I'm ready. This right. is a cycling Ooh. special. Have a look online. You will absolutely love it. <laughs> it looks good. <laughs> okay, are we ready? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Got your waters there? Mm-hmm. G, ready to go? Okay, first we're going to who do you think you are? And Francis de la Tour is going through some old cartoons. Now imagine her surprise when she found this one in the collection. And then this rather pompous woman seems a bit lardy, but she's showing a leg. Yes. Surely 1,000 cannot be called excessive damages. Uh, and now a rather big lady with a huge muff. <laughs> oh, double spray there from both contestants. <laughs> this is this is ridiculous. Why? <laughs> I'm so much lower than him. Yeah. I can't spray up that high. Yeah. And remember, G, remember to spray it all over him. You know what I mean? Don't 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 oh. hold back. All right. Um, so there we are. Who do you think you are? Learning something new every day there. Now, a rather big lady with a huge muff. Louisa sent that one in. Water, please. <laughs> oh, you've even got proper sport water bottles. Mm-hmm. Tom in Warwick spotted this next clip on the F1. And David Coulthard tells us about some of the tough decisions the drivers have to make before each and every race. Uh, I know that Kimi tends to use a mirrored visor in dry conditions, as you see Daniel there power sliding his, tor- his uh, Red Bull, excuse me. Um, so it may well be that uh, Kimi has uh, chosen not to have a clear visor on his wet helmet. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> 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 Your helmet's wet now, for sure. It oh. is. It really <laughs> is. Kimi has uh, chosen not to have a clear visor on his wet helmet. Oh, it must be difficult on the oh. F1. Sometimes you've got to make those decisions. Water, please, lads. Loads of it in the mouth. Come on. Next, we're going to Sunday brunch, and Animatronic is their special guest. Now, when it comes to this cocktail tasting technique, I really, really hope that Anna knows what she's doing. Uh, and, and using the savoury notes to play against the sweeter elements of, of, of classic cocktails. Really nice. Yeah. yeah. yeah I'm still working on this one. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> okay, then we'll wander on to the last one. Marcus. Okay, okay. I'm just going to go ahead and double fist it. <laughs> Anna ho- holding a glass in each hand there, of course. Um, probably done it before. I'm just going to go ahead and double fist it. There we are. Um, <laughs> any other bingos happening with Garrett and Thomas, and it's good. They're on bikes. Watch it now. Let us know if you're watching. I'll give you a big shout out. OK, now we're going to the coverage of Tour de France. Now, Garrett, you must obviously know the, the pressures involved in, uh, in, in cycling professionally. Tell me, uh, has this ever happened to you? A nine-minute deficit at the moment for Alberto Contador. And the skid marks left on the road after the fall were 100 metres long. <laughs> 100 metres? <laughs> and the skid marks left on the road after the fall were over 100 metres long. Just a, just a bit nervous. Um, thank you to Kenny, who noticed that. Remember, if you spot a bingo, send it to me. It won't go to waste. Scott.mails at bbc.co.uk. 
Water, please, lads. Mm -hmm. Nice bail, Chris. <laughs> 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 Are you trying to steady yourself there on that bike? <laughs> on that child's bike, if you want. <laughs> no hands. <laughs> OK, get your waters, because she's done it again. It's Caroline Martin on BBC WM. Uh, one of our most regular contributors, actually, on In Your Bingo. She doesn't mean to do it, she just is. Caroline is asking her listeners, which do you prefer, Star Wars or James Bond? Caroline, please could you read the text before you read them out on air? Kaz, there's no choice. Star Wars was the greatest film of all time, says Sean. Um, Mark in Tamworth says Bond. Roger Moore is my favourite, yes, uh, followed by Brosnan. Um, Super Superman did more to promote religion than Star Wars. Bond every time for me, although I do have a purple lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Caroline! <laughs> it's like her. It's like our listeners are texting into her now because they know. <laughs> Read them before you go on air. I do have a purple lightsaber. Oh, she's been the victim again. <laughs> it's always her. <laughs> always her. <laughs> like every week she's on. <laughs> Water, please. Oh, are you enjoying this? Mm. Yeah, this is very strange for me. You know. Mm. Who's wettest? Oh. Yeah, you do. Yeah, definitely. Height advantage mm -hmm. there. Now, I have been catching up on The Apprentice because I've been away. And a couple of weeks ago, uh, the winners of the task got a sushi making masterclass as their treat. And to celebrate, there's a special phrase that they only use in Japan. Please, everyone, listen out for it. I made sushi. Never thought I'd do that. Hey. I'm ecstatic that we won. When you're celebrating, you need to say kumpai. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you toast with drinks in Japan. You need to say kumpai. 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 Oh, kumpai. And now over to BBC Breakfast. Kumpai. Yes. Now I missed the start of this report. Yes. Everyone all right over there? Mm. Water, please. I missed the start of this report on BBC Breakfast, so I've, I've got no idea what this girl is, is trying to learn to do. It's actually quite easy. Now I'm, I'm getting the hang of it. But before, I'd never even touched a ball. Yeah. <laughs> She'll get the hang of it. It's like riding a bike. Before, I'd never even touched a ball. <laughs> Learning American football there, of course. Uh, loads of you spotted that, including Jesse and Stacey. Dan and Eastbourne's watching. Um, waiting for the dentist. <laughs> in the dentist, uh, just in the appointment room there, watching on his phone. Paul's watching in his van. I'm watching the very wet live lounge. I'm loving it, especially on bikes. Chris's bike is rubbish. Looks like G is taking his son out for his first bike ride. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great text. That's a great text. Uh, <laughs> looks like he's enjoying it as well. I know. Water, please. Now, who remembers the Winter Olympics? This is from the curling. And Christina Bertram does not hold back when she takes on the opposition. An outturn draw from Christina Bertram. She's just come right up and sat on the face of the Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Christina like Bertram. I mean, it's a good technique to distract them. Just come right up and sat on the face of the Canadian. Do you want one more? <laughs> go on then, one more. Okay. Should we go for it? Let's do one more. I'm try stand up high on this kid's bike. What was it? Come. Come by. That's Kampai. how you say cheers in uh, Japan, actually. OK. Now, it's one of your favourites, Chris. I know we play this a lot, but I know that you love it. Mm -hmm. And you kind of need to get G back because he has owned you in this today. Richard Maidley from mm. BBC Radio 2 with his plans for the weekend. I will be spending tomorrow building a brand new barbecue, having friends over for late afternoon nosh in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> now good. that... That was a good Inu and a Bingo Viking special. Thank you, Garen, for being on today. Cheers, thanks that for having me. awesome. 
Wow. One.